Barista here to game. Hope you're a fantastic day. Welcome back to another Madden video. And in this video, I'm going to give you guys advice on the best chemistries to choose. And the reason why it's advice is because there's no really best chemistry to choose. It's based on what players you have that can benefit most from your chemistry. I'll get into that a little bit later, but please do like, subscribe, comment, and put notifications on. We are so close to 250 subs, so if you guys could take just a few seconds out of your day to hit that sub button, that would be greatly appreciated because I will be announcing a 300 sub giveaway at 250 subs. It will be 297 plus overall players. I already have the players who I want to give away in my head, so I will announce it whenever I reach 250 subs. So please help me by hitting that sub button. But anyways, let's get right into the video. Also hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss a single video or if you guys want to get notified whenever I upload. But anyways, let's get offense first. So the best chemistry on offense, we're just going to look at Lamar Jackson real quick. Now for passing wise, I like to go with either go deep or west coast. Now the reason I don't choose play fake is because personally I don't like uh, the stats it gives you. I mean play action, I don't feel like that's worth it at all. Pass block could be worth it. Medium route earnings and eh. medium accuracy is pretty good. But I don't know, I just would rather have West Coast and go deep, but you guys can go with play fake if you want, if you like these, if you feel like these stats would help you the most. But let's go over West Coast. Now the reason why you would pick West, okay, well here, first I'm going to tell you guys why I chose go deep. So the reason I chose go deep was because if you look at Lamar Jackson, he only has 93 throw power, right? Go deep gives you plus two throw power. But if I had like a Patrick Mahomes or a Michael Vick or, you know, some other quarterback that has 99 throw power, then I don't need go deep. But I have Lamar Jackson that only has 93 throw power. So you want to look at your players and what they need. So I look at Lamar Jackson and I see he needs throw power. So I throw go deep on it. But if I had Patrick Mahomes who has like 99 throw power, I would probably put West Coast because it would help with uh, throw under pressure and uh, short accuracy. And if you look at Lamar Jackson, his throw under pressure is 98 and his short accuracy is uh, 96. So he doesn't really need West Coast, which is why I went with Go Deep. And you guys can also look at your wide receivers. As you guys can see, Go Deep gives you plus two spec catch and plus two deep accuracy and plus two deep power running. West Coast gives you plus two catching, plus two catching traffic and plus two short route running, which definitely isn't bad whatsoever. But the only reason I wouldn't go deep is because of Lamar Jackson. So yeah, you want to look at your wide receivers and your quarterback and see what they need the most. So I went with Lamar Jackson because he needed, or with go deep, because he needed more throw power. And yeah, also I like to chuck it up deep. So the difference between spec catch and catch and traffic is catch and traffic is when you catch it, you have a better chance to hold on to the ball. Spec catch is if you like lob it up one on one against the cornerback, then spec catch is pretty much, you know, a better chance of coming down with it. It's a spectacular catch kind of thing. But that is passing chemistry. Also, if you have any questions, be sure to comment down in the comment section below. So for rushing, uh, I don't choose power run, but you guys can go with power run if you guys have like a Jerome Bettis kind of player like uh, Derek Henry. Uh, I can't think of any trucking backs right now. I'm not sure, but if you guys, let's say you guys had Derrick Henry and you guys wanted to improve his break tackle and his trucking and his stiff arm, right? You guys can go with power run. This is for like trucking backs. You guys can see plus one lead block, plus one break tackle, plus one trucking. You guys could also put this on your fullback, but I would suggest, I would not suggest you do one chemistry because of a fullback. Because remember, you need 30 components in order to get this full. So I would not suggest you waste 30 components for just the fullback. But I like to do zone run because uh, personally I don't have a trucking back. I have Saquon Barkley. So plus one spin move, plus one juke move, plus or plus two everything. Plus two spin move, plus two juke move, plus two carrying, plus two run block. I also like to put zone run in all my offensive linemen. You guys could put go deep and uh, or west coast on your offensive linemen if you guys like to pass more. But personally I like to run more. So I put zone run in all my offensive linemen. So as you guys can see, run block finesse, elusiveness, uh, spin move, juke move, carry, and it upgrades all of that, which helps a lot when it comes to running the ball. So I like to spin and juke a lot, so I can just, you know, juke a lot better and spin a lot quicker. And it gives you plus two carrying, and as you guys know, running backs fumble a lot, especially with Sean Taylor and Troy Palomalu and Pat Tillman running all over the place. It's a lot harder to, uh, you know... Uh, not get fumbled so you want to go with that to make sure people can't hit you and you get fumbled so that's also another reason because my Saquon Barkley has 99 carrying because I put zone run on him so that definitely helps a lot when it comes to that 
but anyways let's look at physical chemistry so you guys can also go with balanced all if you want if you know if you feel like you guys don't have that much training and you guys you know just want balanced offense you guys can go with this but if you guys want you know specific parts of your offense to be boosted a certain way and another i would suggest you go with zone run and go deep but balanced is pretty much just like everything you know it's balanced but you get plus one spin move pretty much plus one everything plus one lead block plus one run blocking plus one break tackle and yeah so it's pretty much just even on everything you guys can go with it it's a lot cheaper than all these other ones but i would recommend you guys go with other ones if you guys are looking for certain boosts on a certain player but anyways if you like the physical chemistry i like to put sprinter on everybody but my offensive lineman because brawler gives you plus two strength so i like to put the plus two strength on my offensive lineman just because it gives you you know well obviously gives you plus two strength and sprinter doesn't help an offensive lineman too much and it takes away strength so i would not put sprinter at all on an offensive lineman so definitely put brawler on offensive lineman and you can also do it on backup offensive lineman also i sometimes put them on tight ends too because i sometimes use tight ends just to block so sometimes i put brawler on tight ends to block but if you guys have any questions be sure to comment down in the comment section below anyways those are the offensive chemistries if you guys want to see what i'm rocking out here i'll show you guys here in a second what i am rocking as in chemistry so if you guys go all the way to the right as you guys can see i'm currently running a mini 49ers theme team i have terrell owens Deion sanders I forgot who else, Garrison Hurst. I'm running a you know mini 49ers team team. So I have zone run, go deep, run stuff, lockdown. We'll go into that defense stuff later. Sprinter and brawler. I have brawler on all my uh, offensive linemen and sprinter. You guys can also put brawler on people who already have 99 speed. Like take Tyree Kill, for example. He already has 99 speed and 99 acceleration. So sprinter won't help him one bit. So you might want to put brawler on him if you have Tyree Kill. But anyways, let's get to the defensive chemistry. All right, so we are on defense, and I'm going to show you guys why I chose run stuff and lockdown. So let's do Jadavion Clowney, for example. So if you look at Jadavion Clowney, I currently have run stuff and sprinter on him. Usually I have brawler on my pass rushers, but I couldn't resist putting sprinter on my outside linebackers just because sometimes they play coverage. So I like to put sprinter on him in case they uh, do coverage. But run stuff is, you guys can choose run stuff or pass rush, and it kind of speaks for itself. Run stuff are peop people who run, and pass rush are for people who pass. Now, the reason I chose run, run stuff is just because, well, uh, here, maybe we can look at, all right. I thought we might be able to look at all the stats of run stuff, but maybe we can't. But as you can see, pass rush gives you plus two pursuit, plus two impact blocking, plus two press, plus two catching plus two finesse moves and plus two power moves and the reason why i went with run stuff is because i felt like people were running the meta right now is corner routes post routes and stretches and dives uh so yeah that's why i'm going with run stuff just because i feel like people are running the ball a lot more and i feel like today Van clowney has really good finesse moves and power moves already so that's another reason why i chose that so also you want to look on your defense players do like i said every time you pick chemistry you want to look at your defense players and see what they need help in the most if they have like 99 block shed then don't choose run stuff because run stuff won't help at all because you know what's the point of adding two block shed onto a person that already has 99 block shed same thing with pass rush you don't want to put pass rush on a player that already has 99 finesse moves so once again you want to look at all your players and see what they need but as you guys can see pass rush gives you plus two power moves plus two finesse moves i already went over that and run stuff i'm pretty sure gives you block plus two block shed but it's just not showing up right now for some reason so yeah you guys can also go with balance and it's pretty much plus one to everything plus one tackling plus one press plus one finesse moves plus one hit power plus one block shed plus one man coverage plus one power move and plus one zone coverage and the reason why i like to go with lockdown i like to go lockdown with my middle linebackers my cornerbacks and my safeties now the reason I like lockdown is because well there's nothing to compete you're not going to put run stuff on your cornerback you're not going to put pass rush on your cornerbacks but usually I'd say you know usually when I do these chemistry videos well this is actually my first time doing it but usually when I you know talk about this kind of thing I, I say well the reason I chose lockdown is because I think it's better than but there's nothing he's competing with lockdown is not competing with any other chemistry lockdown is its own chemistry there is no, you know, other, you know, chemistry that you guys are like, hmm, maybe I'll choose this over lockdown. But there is literally no other chemistry you would choose over lockdown. So I highly recommend you put lockdown on all of your cornerbacks and safety. It helps you tremendously. Plus two man coverage, plus two zone coverage, plus two press, plus two catching, plus two play recognition. It definitely helps out a lot. So you definitely want to put lockdowns on your cornerbacks, 
your safeties and whoever you use or if that's your middle linebacker right left or you know outside linebackers then you want to put lockdown on everybody that covers and then they'll be locked down all pun intended <laughs> and then for sprinter you want to put sprinter on everybody it's kind of your decision because like i put sprinter on julius peppers and jadavion clowney and they're both supposed to be rushing but I usually put Brawler on my defensive lineman because it gives you plus two sh strength, but like for people like Aaron Donald, once again, he doesn't need strength. So sometimes I either leave him with no physical chemistry or I put Sprinter on him. So like, you know, you don't need to put, you don't need to put Brawler on a person that already has 99 strength. You don't need to put Sprinter on a person that has 99 speed and acceleration. So if you guys have a defensive lineman that already has 99 strength, do not put anything on him. You guys can put Sprinter on him, but it does take away two strength and two agility. Just note that. So yeah, like I said, I put Brawler on all my defensive linemen unless they already have plus 99 strength. And I put Sprinter on all my, you know, linebackers and cornerbacks and safeties. But those are the chemistries I use. Like I said, I will be coming out with an ability video sometime later in the day. And yeah, we're so close to 250 subs. Thank you guys so much for the support lately. It's been insane. And you know, please just drop a sub. We are so close. And yeah, thanks for watching. Remember to God's heart, heart, mind, soul, strength, and to love your neighbors as yourself. I'm the Hands Free Gamer. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys next time. If you have any questions, be sure to comment down in the comment section below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!